The great American solar eclipse of 2024 is over now. Maybe you saw it and you want to experience the same awe and emotion again. Or maybe you missed it, you feel left out, and you want to know your next opportunity. Either way, let's talk about where all of the total solar eclipses are for the next decade. These are when the moon passes between the sun and the earth during the day plunging us into darkness, covering the entire sun, and letting us see the sun's corona, surrounded by other, more typical nighttime stars. Once we know where all of the solar eclipses will be for the next 10 years, we can all plan our journeys and hopefully see some amazing things in the near future. There are seven of these total solar eclipses coming in the next 10 years, and they are spread fairly well over the globe. That is, except the notable absence of any more over the USA, where the next one doesn't happen until 2045. I'll use a few different maps in this video, but in ones like this, the red path through the middle are where the total solar eclipses will be visible from, and the wider paths show places where you can see a partial eclipse at the same time. So the moon will pass in front of some of the sun, but it won't cover the whole thing. Following the conclusion of the 2024 eclipse, we do have a couple of years break before the next one. But when it does eventually happen, the next total solar eclipse will be on the 12th of August 2026. An awful lot of it will happen over ocean, which is quite annoying for those of us that aren't often in the middle of the water. But there are several countries that will be able to see the total eclipse. It will start over the top of Russia, and the shadow will travel a long way over water, before being visible in parts of Greenland, Iceland, Portugal and Spain. We can give special mentions to the UK, Ireland, Gibraltar, Andorra, France, Algeria, Italy and Norway, who will all get really close to total coverage but fall just short. Partial eclipses will be visible over many other countries too. For me, this one is nice and appealing because Spain is really nearby to me, so hopefully I'll see some of you there for a hot August eclipse in Spain. The fact that it passes over Iceland too means that there's the possibility of some incredible photos of the eclipse over volcanoes, geysers and glaciers. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of those. Speaking of particularly awesome photo opportunities, we'll have to wait less than a year for the following eclipse, which will happen on the 2nd of August 2027, and will actually cover some similar countries. This will also have the longest lasting totality of all of the eclipses in the next decade, at 6 minutes and 22 seconds, and most of the countries in the path have great prospects for being cloudless in August. And that is always good when you want to actually see the eclipse. The reason that I say this one presents some especially special photo opportunities is that this total eclipse goes straight through Egypt. Admittedly, Cairo is just a touch too far north to see the moon completely cover the sun, but it will be incredibly close to full coverage. And the thought of seeing photos of an almost total eclipse over the pyramids and sphinx is very exciting. Expect to see a lot of conspiracy theories and apocalypse predicting pop up around about that time. The city of Luxor that has some of Egypt's coolest history is directly in the path of totality though, so that will be one of the best spots to see the eclipse from if you ask me. The other countries to get the total eclipse, as well as Egypt, will be Algeria, Gibraltar, Libya, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Spain, Sudan, Tunisia and Yemen. The next total eclipse after this is again less than a year later, on the 22nd of July 2028, and we're finally going to a new part of the world. This one will have totality only visible from Australia, New Zealand, Christmas Island and the Cocos Islands. A lot of the rest of it will be over water, which is a shame. But it will be the first time that Sydney will see a total solar eclipse since 1857. So that's something, I guess. After this, we then have to wait until 2030 for the next one. Specifically, the 25th of November 2030. Strangely enough, this one will also pass over Australia but it will first pass through several countries in southern Africa. I assume there's an orbit-based reason that these eclipses seem to cluster the regions they hit, and we see similar places for a few eclipses in a row. But I don't really know what the specifics of it are. If you know, please leave a comment down below to let the rest of us learn what's going on here. Either way, the countries that will see a total eclipse in 2030 will be Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Lesotho and Australia. In November, I'm sure any of those countries will be great targets for viewing, and just imagine being on safari during totality. That would be pretty awesome. I guess just hope that the safari animals don't get too confused when it suddenly gets dark in the middle of the day and turn on you. Another year later, on November 14th, 2031, we have perhaps the least exciting one. I mean, no offence to anyone that does live in the path of this one, 
but the total eclipse is almost completely over water. Panama will get a short 25 second annular eclipse, which is pretty awesome and relatively unusual that an annular eclipse will be visible during the same event that will be a total eclipse as well. It's just a shame that this hybrid event won't be seen by more people. A few nearby countries will get nice partial eclipses, but totality won't cross much land at all. In 2033, we'll see the penultimate eclipse on our list, and it looks to have a pretty short path. Again, it won't pass over too many well-populated areas. However, on March 30th, 2033, some parts of Alaska and the tip of Russia, the Chukchi Peninsula, I hope I'm saying that right, will get to see it. Other places like Canada and Norway will see a decent partial eclipse, but this is a pretty limited solar eclipse in terms of the number of people that will easily be able to see it. Finally, in 2034, we have the final eclipse in the coming decade, and it will take place on the 20th of March, 2034, passing over parts of Africa and Asia. This one will be seen by a lot of people, and there will again be some incredible photo opportunities as the eclipse passes over 13 countries, namely Benin, Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, Sudan, Egypt again, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and China. After that, there will of course be many more eclipses at a reasonably frequent cadence. Without going into too much detail of the eclipses beyond this decade list, I will shout out the highlights of a few more. In 2035, there's an eclipse through China, Japan, and Korea. Australia then continues its remarkable amount of eclipses, and will have two more eclipses in the 2030s, in 2037 and 2038. The next year, in 2039, there will then be a total solar eclipse only visible for Antarctica, which won't be seen by many people, but I'm sure it will be stunning for those people and penguins that do see it, and it should yield some incredible images of the eclipse above the ice. Finally, there will be total eclipses in 2041, 42, 43, and 44, before the USA finally gets its next one in 2045. Let me know down below if you're hoping or planning to see any of these, or which one you're most excited to experience, either in person or vicariously through the awesome images that other people will take. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you made it this far, please consider subscribing as it helps me out a lot. And you can check out another video just here that YouTube thinks you'll like after this one. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!